Bird, 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 bird! Round Babe was right. Round Babe was right. I'm feeling, I'm feeling spry. Okay, if you think I'm kidding about skipping the intro, I know I say it a lot. And I know people are like, okay, I know, just skip going, you'll get into the subject matter. Okay, but if you skip this one, somewhere in the middle of uh, wherever, this intro, you're going to find out how you may win two tickets to the Meat Eater Live Tour in Detroit. That's right, the Meat Eater Live Tour in Detroit. I'm going to be at Kalamazoo and in Detroit with Steve and Yanni and the whole crew doing the live show and doing the trivia. But if you skip this intro and you don't know where I'm gonna put it in, you will miss the opportunity to figure out how you can win tickets to come see me with the Meat Eater crew. So don't skip the rest of this intro. So now that I finally have your attention, okay, we know that this show is brought to you by On X. Maps, OnX Hunt, OnX Golf, OnX Fish. Whatever you do with OnX, your day is improved. What, does that sound like a commercial? OnX is the title sponsor of this show, and it's probably the title sponsor of your hunt, especially if you're out where I am. I just got, well, as they say, a nice pin drop to me. Uh, it's my last day. I'm doing this intro on a Monday. It's my last day in, the, in South Dakota, and uh, I'm going to hit a couple of spots. And then I'm going to wander my way home, but I'm going to get this episode out to you today just in case you're driving around and you got nothing better to do, all right? And if you're driving around and you're hunting, I know, I know you're using Onyx. I know many of you have Gunner kennels, food crates, bowls, bumpers, you name it. Gunner makes, well, you know what they make. They make bomb-proof, guaranteed to last, guaranteed to be, guaranteed to be over-engineered products for your dog. Now, that's, that's a given. Pike Gear. Now, Pike Gear has been around, a, a, getting to be a long time now with us. And I went out here, in fact, I want to just give a shout out to my friends Connor, Corey, Lucas, and Chris. And Chris, who showed up in full Pike Gear regalia. He had, I think he was wearing his Kiowa or Tongas, I can't remember what pants he was wearing. He said it was his third year. He loves them. And this guy hunts South Dakota all the time. I hunt it once in a while. These guys hunt all the time. So there's a testimony. He had the vest. He had the pants. I seen the shirt. It's like, great. I know this stuff works because I see it on the road. And I didn't I didn't know Chris was going to be there. I didn't call him up and say, hey, if you got any pike gear, you know, please put it on. Boss Shot Shell showed up. Now, I, boy, I, I, I chickened out. Now, not because of Boss Shot Shells. I was shooting them in my Mossberg SA-20. Now Mossberg just sent me four guns to kick the tires and and I took this SA-20. Now you know I'm a, I'm a break open gun and they gave me a couple nice break open guns to use but back last week we needed some we needed some more firepower and uh, Casey over at White Lake said she goes don't any of you guys have auto loaders and I said no my listeners don't use auto loaders well a couple of them do. Anyway I broke out the SA-20 Actually, I went and had, uh, I had Tate set up a little clay thrower before we went hunting. Cause that's the best thing about South Dakota. 10 o'clock in the morning, you don't got to do nothing. I'm getting this intro done, and I still got an hour to get to my spot. Anyway, I shot the SA-20. I'm like, okay, it feels like a, it, it, it's simple. It's light. I've had auto loaders that the, the shells double clutch underneath the trip. Tri this worked. This worked. Fine, and I spanked the heck out of birds that day because it's party hunting out here, you know, in a big group. And sometimes your opportunities are more on one side of the field than the other. I started out in the morning with banging away, and uh, I, I don't really know, you never know how many birds you hit, but I know I didn't miss much with that SA-20. And one of the reasons they didn't have any cripples was because I was shooting boss ammo. I stopped at boss's plant on the way down 
picked up a case of 20 for out here because I knew I was going to shoot that instead of my 16. And I picked up a case of 410. You're like, hey, Rod, you don't shoot 410. Well, I got a case of Boss 410 number six because Mossberg sent me a beautiful, beautiful black label, gold label, platinum label. I forget the name of it. I'm so sorry. I'll get it next week and I'll show you pictures of it on Instagram. But I was shooting that 410 at some clays and I'm like, you know, it's so light. It feels like it fits me good, but I mean, I was choking on clay targets. So I opted not to use the 410. I used the SA-20 and, uh, I chickened out, I'll be honest with you. I, I flat out chickened out, but you know, I'll get used to it. In fact, I I offered uh, my my host, uh, Connor out here on my way home. I said, hey, you're a good shot. You're the best shot I've ever hunted with. And we didn't see enough birds to say, okay. If we saw a lot more birds, he was gonna, I was gonna strap with that 410, but we didn't get to shoot it. I can't, I, I cannot, I gotta be total transparency. I really do. The Garmin came through always. Garmin never not comes through. Everything's there. Charge them up, couple days. I, you know, I've never pushed it where I know how long they'll last, but the TT15 collar lasts, the, uh, the 550 plus, that's my go-to. It's my go-to for everything. I have a 300i. Um, I probably shouldn't leave in the truck because it's got the SOS button and all that stuff on it, but I, I do. I'm on short little walks. I. I'm not like out in the middle of nowhere, so shame on me, but I still love that 550 plus. And you know, you go to W Hunting Supply, W Supply to get any of your Garmin products. Now you could get the other brands there. I'm not gonna mention names, but I'll bet you, if you told them what you do with your dog, I bet you they're gonna steer you toward Garmin. I, I, I would bet any money. Just like if you ask W Supply what spices they use when they, when they cook, I bet you they say Waltons. How's that? Well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I make that up. Walton says everything but the meat. And I, and I mean everything. From cutlery to aprons to food tubs to grinders to stuffers to vacuum seals. I mean everything you could possibly use. I'm bringing home a cooler, a legal limit of pheasants. And I am going to make pheasant sausage. Yes. I am going to be making pheasant sausage. I'll film that and I'll show you all of our stuff. Well, that was my daughter calling me, so I'll call her back in a minute. Um, four wheel campers, everybody wanted to see the four wheel camper Model M. Everywhere, even in gas stations in South Dakota, it happens. When I was at White Lake, it happened. When I came over here to my friends' places, everybody wants to see the four wheel camper Model And they're all like, wow, wow, I could see that on a hunting trip. Got the bunk upstairs. In my case, I got a bunk down below. I've already modified it. It's, it is the absolute game changer. If you're a traveling wing shooter, you've got to look at four wheel campers model in. That's all I can say. I mean, I can't give you a visual. I can't tell you how good it's shot or how good the I mean, it, 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 You just got to look it up and say, that's what I'm putting on my truck next time. You have to do that. My buddy Bill, I got him canine athleted all up. He's going to order canine athlete in mass because he couldn't believe how much, just when a dog, his dog, is that one of them dogs he got from me, you know, the, mm -mm, the oopsie litter? Well, Bill's got one of them that hunts actually, and he loves the hydrate and recover and the, and the probiotic. This dog has a habit of eating a lot of landscaping crap. You know, you know some of them dogs that do that, and that's probably the Bronco side of things. Well, he said every time he puts that canine pro on the food, it like settles the dog down. Good boom booms, the, boom booms the next day. Well, who doesn't like a good boom boom? Really, honestly. Um, of course, all I saw here, I saw it at my friend's house. I saw a bag of Purina Pro Plant. I did say, Connor, you need to get a Gunner food crate because then it keeps it fresh for Ozzy. Ozzy is, is Connor's springer, and I'm telling you what, I love this dog. In fact. I'm, I'm recording this from Connor's kitchen and I'm looking at Ozzy and I'm wondering because last night Connor really fell for Taffy or for, no, that's, I'm in such a habit of saying that, for little Vivi, my cocker. I'm thinking I might put Vivi in the kennel where Ozzy is 
take Ozzy with me because last night he said, well, you could stay here, VB. You could just stay with Connor. So I might as well let Connor get her on birds the rest of the season out here, and I'll bring, uh, I'll bring Ozzy home. He'd be a welcome com- Anyway, that's, I probably shouldn't do that. I wish I was staying for one night, more night somewhere else. I would do it just for a joke. Have Connor go out there and go, shit! <laughs> yeah, I would do that. But I saw a big bag of Purina Pro Plan in his garage as everywhere else I've gone this week. Um, and I, I hate to tell you, I ran out of line and Kugel. So if my line and Kugel connections are listening to this, okay? If you're listening to this, I need more line and Kugel. I'm gonna send you an email this morning. I could stop in Minnesota and pick it up direct instead of going to the distributor. I don't know if you get this in time because I am out of line and Kugel and that does not make for a good hunt. It does not make for a good end of the day. Makes for a great end of the day when you don't run out of it. But, you know, they only gave me 12 cases and it was only a month. So, I mean, and I gave it to a lot of people as ambassadors. Don't think I drink 12 cases in a month. Don't be silly. I gave three cases away. So I drank nine. I, anyway, I can't remember. So anyway, Line and Kugel, Pure Pro Plan, K9 Athlete, Four Wheel Model M Camper, Mossberg and Son, Walton's, W Supply, Garmin, Boss Shot Shells, yeah, I'm going to get to the meat eater part. Boss shot shells, pike gear, gunner kennels, on X. That's what brings you this show. But here's a little another show. Speaking of shows, boy, that's a segue, isn't it? I, I love it when I can do this in one take. And I'm doing it because of desire. Because I'm down to, uh, what time is it? Oh, hang on a minute. 8.59, we can start hunting at 10. Not we, I, I'm by myself today. Um... I can start hunting a tent. I got to get this thing wrapped up, put out to you guys and girls, and then I am going to go chase some pheasants. So look on Instagram for those pictures. I, I'm not going to do... I, I took a really nice picture of a really nice long spurred old bird. To me, that's enough. That's a... Anyway. All right. Okay. So the Meat Eater Live Tour. Okay. That is... Oh, hang on a second. All right, that is kicking off on December 6th in Denver, Colorado. But as it travels to the east, I'm going to be with Steve and Yanni and the crew in Kalamazoo, Michigan on December 10th and in Detroit, Michigan on December 11th. So I'm going to be there with the whole gang. I did that once, oh, I think right before COVID. I did that with them at the Kalamazoo Theater, and I'm going to do it again. There's going to be a trivia. And I've got two tickets to the Detroit show. I'm sorry if you live closer. Well, any of my Michigan, Indiana, Ohio listeners, yeah, they're all going to try to take, not all of them, but here's a chance. So what I need, I need you to write me three trivia questions that you you think I can stump the crew with, right? Three trivia questions. That's not like 10. 10's a lot, believe me, because you're going to listen to this episode. It took us two hours to come up with these 10 questions all about South Dakota. But I want you to write me at Ron B. at the Hunting Dog Podcast. Whoever writes the three best questions. Now, that's going to be subjective because I'm the judge. But whoever writes me the three best questions that I can stump Yanni and Steve and the crew with, then... I will pick that person's name, and I will get them tickets at the will call. I have two tickets for the Detroit Meat Eater live show, but that's the catch. You got to write me trivia questions, and you got to keep it in the. All right, here here's the deal. Now you know when I did the trivia, and I'm going to do some more of them, but I just couldn't believe how difficult it was to do these things. I mean, to just keep coming up with my four verticals of of birds, dogs alcohol and cigars, okay? I'm going to have to expand. You know the meat eater verticals if you listen to their trivia show, but I want you to keep it into the dog world and I want to keep it into the bird world or small game or hound world. Doesn't have to be bird dogs, could be Labradors, could be squirrels, any small game. You know, everybody knows I'm not a big game hunter. I want to have three questions that I could stump them with, okay? So get your pen and paper, get your thinking cap on, Google, go to Wikipedia, look up some stuff. They got to be questions you think some people would get, but you know or you hope that Steve and Yanni and Spencer and the whole gang are going to get them wrong. That's what we're looking for. 
All right? And that's how you can win two tickets to the Mediator Live Tour. Whew. All right, speaking of trivia, we, we came up with a quick trivia game while we were in South Dakota. We pitted four Michiganders, well, not really Michiganders, four, four HDP listeners against four of the people who work at the lodge at White Lake Hunting Lodge. Let's see how good. So we made a South Dakota trivia game. You can play along while you drive. You can't you can get a piece of paper. Um, you're not going to be able to get tickets for it because I think you'd cheat just to get the tickets. All right. I love you girls. I love you guys. And I always love you girls better. Oh, and Amanda, thank you for a wonderful smoked turkey dinner on Saturday night. Thank you. Okay, my bad. My bad. I, one quick thing. Okay. How can I do it quick if I always do all that? Anyway, one quick thing. My YouTube channel, the Hunting Dog Podcast YouTube channel, we released Behind the Dog Part 1. It's a six-part episode that we did. Those things come out for sale after they've been out for sale. We chop them up and put them out on YouTube. The first chopped up part is on YouTube right now. And in fact, when you're listening to this, I think Part 2 is up. If you want to learn what is goes in behind the dogs, the breeders, we're going to have... We're going to have Weimaraner breeders. This one's about a German short hair breeder. Griffon breeders. We're having, pretty soon you're going to get an episode. You're going to want to buy that one when it's new. Um, with Bob Ferris and the history of his poodle pointers. Okay? So Behind the Dog is on my YouTube channel. The Hunting Dog Podcast YouTube channel. So now you can watch it in chunks. Okay? And free. So that's not bad. Anything free is worth saving up for. So make sure you hit likes and subscribes. You know all that. That's what everybody says. We want this to be something that goes on for a long time. The show, not about hunting as much as it is about the dogs and what goes behind the dogs, the breeding, the events, the guts. Okay? We want to get into the guts of it. But we'd rather call it behind the dog than guts of the dog. So that makes sense to you. It makes sense to me. Okay, enjoy the trivia game from South Dakota. Someone that's got the, the there's a pro, there's not a pro. Yeah. The, the non-pro one I don't like. The snap one I like. I like snaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I would like snaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I got he one that's got buttons. And I don't one like snaps. And all that stuff. Yeah. Mama doesn't buttons. like the one with buttons so much because it takes too long. When I get home, I want to be able to just <laughs> rip her off. <laughs> This dog smelled that I hate to death. I walked in with an Oreo cookie already chewed up. She comes like, right in your face. Did she like the pate? I hope not. A flanker shot a bird today, and he was about 50 yards. And he said he just picked it up, and when he came out of the corn strip, stopped, looked at him, and just stood there and looked at him, and did not move. And then he and then he set the bird down. She picked it up and came running back. Uh, what is this cruise going to call in 45 minutes? Yeah, we got to get this done. So we call. All right, we're, we're starting this up. Hey, we're, we're sitting here in the uh, what we call the guide house at White Lake Hunting Lodge, right? You know what we call this place? Because back in the day, the guides went here, and then we moved them out. And, um, this used to be a bedroom. How do you know? Because I slept in it. Yep. <laughs> There's really? a trivia question, yep. huh? That, yeah. What year... Did Roof sleep in the guide house? 2020. 2020. Because he ain't no guide. <laughs> uh, so we did a little podcast the other day. We're going to do just a tiny recap. To, we're gonna, and we're going to do a little trivia game. And last year, Casey kind of threw us a curve and says, Oh, I got some trivia questions for you guys. Yeah. So we decided to make a South Dakota trivia game for our esteemed South Dakota host. And I'm going to screw it up. Wyatt. Why? Wyatt. 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 Okay, I got all I gotta think. Okay, Bruce Wyatt. Robertson. Wyatt. Okay. Wyatt, Tate, and Casey. And uh we're we're gonna do a little trivia game, but we'll do a short we had our day two today. Um I think nobody got hurt, seriously, other than we had one guy fall in a badger hole. The shooting was better. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> welcome. <laughs> Except for the one I have on I, video. I, <laughs> I, I choked a little bit right. Right before the end of the total, but Just I, I quit tell me why not. Tell me why you can't do it. Right? Well, here's why: because I had my number seven copper oh, plated boss go. in there yesterday, which is good, but not on these hard flying roosters that have the wind with them. 
If so I, I would have known that, I know you would have killed me. I would have. <laughs> you would have killed me. But I'll tell you what, boss copper plated bismuth number sevens are probably equal to a six lead. I can believe that. But, but the wind was blowing fifty mile an hour. I know, but today? I just came off of a grouse fucking new oh. Anyway, so today I went over to the fives, and boy, they when they did hit them, they were dead. They were dead doornails, which was nice. And I think the funniest thing about all this is we have to. There's no way you can find every bird, but we end up kind of finding every bird. You know what I mean? We're like Casey will put her hat on a on a millet stalk. She goes, we'll come back there. And we'll go back. She goes, oh, we'll be in that on the road later. And and then, sure enough, I think we only got to shoot once on the last drive. We're like, two and three. We're done. The, dog, <laughs> the dogs just brought back the cripples that we shot from the other road. That, that's got to happen at least every day a couple times, right? I mean, like oh, at the yeah. end of the... Well. I mean, it helps if we can supply some of the ammo to control to make sure you're not shooting sevens on a 50 mile an hour day. Here we go. Here we go. It uh, does happen. But yeah, we're having a ball here. We're on day two. Um, that, I mean, we everybody got meat, plenty of shooting in. We have pheasant, Alfredo tonight, and then meatballs with a red sauce. Could you use there. your outside voice? Because all of a sudden you're like quiet. We have pheasant Alfredo tonight. Well, thank you. I'm looking at the meters here. <laughs> and meatballs with, I think... Uh, Mushrooms, I heard. I was kind of asking around the staff. You, you <laughs> well, I got a guy. I got a guy here, a little information here. And, and I saw Jim take a 32-inch barrel, 870, and pillowcase. <laughs> but that bird would have got away if it wasn't for that 32-inch barrel. Did you let him bring that here, Brother brother Bill? Uh, well, I did because he put a brand new stock on it. And he said, hey, I, uh, all right. and, and I cleaned it so it won't jam up this year. Wow, you just, your voice doesn't carry. Like my voice, watch. Watch the green little lights go up, see? If you get them up like that, that's good. We know Tate's voice carries. You can hear him in a North Dakota, South Dakota. Every once in a while. Yeah, you can hear him in a windstorm. All right, we're on. All right, we got to get out. We got to get out of this. We got we got a little business to do. So, um, oh, there you are. what we're going to do is we're pitting three <clears throat> non-South Dakota, re- the, 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 the South Dakota residents against the three South Dakota residents here. And that's Casey, Tate, and Wyatt. That's, uh, Casey is the owner. Are you a full owner? Yeah, you are a full owner. Is that a question? That's not really a question. I, I checked, I and, checked Onyx and she is. And, and, full, <laughs> full owner slash boss. Yep. You might and, want to not tell anyone, Mark. We have Tate, one of the... One of the several uh, guys that works here every year, we've known for many years, and we talked about the other night. Let, let, we need to plug that kennel again, because you said it kind of fast yesterday, your kennel name. Martinson's Red Point Kennel. Right, and that's what I said. Anybody writes me an email, and they're looking for a visual, I don't question. I just say, I only know one guy. Mm-hmm. And that's where I send them. Because I've seen your dogs in action, and I'm pretty tickled. And why? I don't even know what kind of dogs you run. Labs. All right, well, there's a room over there. Which <laughs> the you, the you, pointing you, lab team is here. Usually, usually we say, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> so, so why, do you have a kennel or you just run your own dogs? Just run my own dogs. And yeah. you've been doing it for a little bit here? Is this the like, year four or five? But Wyatt goes back. He's been working here since 14, 15 years old. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, I've actually worked for all three owners of, of the White Lake Lodge. <clears throat> really? Yeah. You're the glue. You're the golden thread. Yeah. You're the cement that binds us. Yeah. And, uh, ah. When Casey and Corey bought this place, I was cleaning birds for them, and she come in one day in the in the cleaning shack and said, "Hey, what do you think about guiding?" And I said, "I don't know. I really don't want to. I'm not interested in dogs. This and that." And Are like, you weren't interested in dogs. I just I, I was I was so busy, and then, but my kids, I got kids, and they were constantly wanting a dog, wanting a dog. So I said, "You know what? Let me look for a dog, and and we'll go from there." So Take. at the end of the year, I found a. I found a starter dog that I was interested in with, and we went and met him, and my kids played fetch with him. He, you know, like, we'll take him. Eight-month-old Rex. That was my first dog that he started with, and now we're up to four. So. Great. So it's a little bit of, you have a little bit of a problem. It's it's an addiction. <laughs> I want I want about ten of them. So. How many dogs do you have currently? Four. Four. 
And how far do you live from here? I'm born and raised in White Lake, live in White Lake. Oh, that's why you work for all the, okay. <laughs> yep. I mean, you could be Kimball or I'm something. I'm a local. No, local. You're, you're here from, hey, any idea what happened with that siren today? Yeah, there was there was a car accident on the interstate. Oh, okay. Why it's also the fire chief? Yeah. Why it's the fire chief too? Yeah. So, my phone was blowing wait, up in the middle of the hunt. Did you have to leave your? No, they they were calling me like, "Hey, are you coming? You coming?" I'm like, I I'm I'm out of town today. I'm out of town. And they probably hear boom, boom, boom. Call me, <laughs> call me if you have any questions with equipment wise or whatnot. And it must have never been too bad because they didn't call me. So. Absolutely. And as we pass out cards, we have Jim McPhail, which is brother. My brother Bill McPhail's brother, so we're kind of like brothers because he's my brother. Yeah, is oh, he a brother? He's a brother. Well, no, he's not a brother. Woo! He's, not a brother. he's, he's a your brother. brother. He's my brother. But he's not our brother. Not our brother. And then we have a friend of yours. A friend of mine. So if, if I'm a friend of yours, what does that mean? It means uh, he's a friend of ours. No, no. If I'm a friend of yours, you'll vouch for me. That's right. If we're a friend of ours, I'm on my own. You're a made man. You, so you don't want to say we're, that in a public we're, we're, we're from <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's got a history of that. So anyway, we're gonna get this up. We gotta get we gotta get dinner, and and Bill's got a little meeting to go to. So, what I want you to do is don't take up the whole plate with one word. I want you to write your answer on your plate, and then I will go around in circular fashion and see who got this right. Some of these answers will be closest answer. Some will be have to have the correct answer to win. So. First question is, what is the lowest, we thought about this after yesterday morning, what is the lowest recorded temperature in South Dakota? Lowest recorded temperature and closest answer to this one will, will win. Boom, 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 boom. Is this with wind chill or just the... Yeah, just, just coldest chill. recorded. Because it was... All right, everybody's got an answer? Okay. <laughs> you write the thesis? All right, Casey, what is your answer? Negative 42. Ooh, okay, Tate. Negative 35. Wyatt. Negative 58. Wow. Jim. Negative 52. Ruth. Minus 29. <laughs> My twenty <tongue> nine. <laughs> Bill. Minus fifty eight. Huh? Bing 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 bing. We have negative fifty eight. What? Wow. Negative fifty eight. Right. What? Wow. Well, that was good. Must have been around White Lake because you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was at Macintosh on February seventeenth, nineteen thirty six. I thought it might have been twenty twenty two out now here. Now this is a very. <laughs> I want to say this is this should be for a Dakota resident very simple, and Casey's taking selfies while she's doing her. <laughs> I'm not a selfie. You can walk. I'm, I'm not, too old for that. that. <laughs> All right, South Dakota. What is the state animal? Oh, I know that not asking for state bird. It's the state animal of South Dakota. All right. I don't know Any ideas? I don't know. Everybody got an answer? I don't know if I know this. It's not Pekingese. All right. Billy got an answer? I do. Every, all right. Casey. Buffalo. Hey. I'm just going to throw it out. I'm just going to go with coyote. Uh, coyote. Coyote. Why is coyote? Jim. I wrote buffalo. Ah. Giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's, a, that's not bad. Right? That's, that's close. That's a close. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coyote. Coyote. Kyle is the correct yeah. answer. Wow. So we got Phil and to Wyatt, go off that our I was Tate. in the National Guard and our emblem for the South Dakota National Guard was Kyle. Oh. So so it's not that you're that smart. No, I just was like, oh, it's gotta be. They a just said they got me a They just said private. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now the first licensed fenting fenting. The first year of licensed pheasant hunting in South Dakota was what year? Oh, of license. license not the first year. Not like hunting. when they released them. The first year where they had a license mm. that you had to buy. Ooh, that's a toughie. That's, that's, well, that, cha that changes a little bit. And, and I guess it could possibly be you probably already had a small game license, but what year were pheasants 
part of the small, you know. That I, you're able to buy a license and hunt. It, that you're able to legally hunt pheasants with a small game license. That's a good way to put it. Uh, and uh, and uh, there were no giraffes here <laughs> when, when this, I, I, that's a hint to everybody. You know that? You know, probably not. There could have been an exotic game sure. farm. Teddy Roosevelt it's might have had giraffes. Teddy was South Dakota a little bit? Or idea. North Dakota, Montana, Teddy Roosevelt. All three. Oh. It's probably close. All That's right. the only I'm going off. Of. So, the first year that you could hunt pheasants <laughs> with a South Dakota license going through. Casey, what year? 1953. <laughs> okay. Hey, 1920. And this will be a closest answer. 1910. All right. I put 43. Okay, there was a war going on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 44, we brought our boys home. It was actually 45. Five. Some of them got out early. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Early release. Early release. So the first planet <laughs> no, you're done. You can go home. And like, oh, wait. So it have to be like... You said 20? 1990. What? You can't you can't record your answer after the answers. Yeah. What do you have wrote down? What do you have wrote down? 1919. Okay. <laughs> What'd you have? 20. Answer was 1919. <laughs> Son of a good one. God. That's, that was built. That's, that's, all right. Uh, uh, challenge. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's my red flag? <laughs> all right. All right. The average wind speed. Oh boy. Of oh, South Jesus. Dakota. Just just like if you took every day of the year and averaged it out. There is it now what you gotta understand we Googled this stuff. We don't know if it's accurate or not. But the average wind speed in South Dakota. Is this gonna be a closest answer? Yeah, oh yeah, speed? yeah, it's gotta be a closest, closest one to it. And don't forget, when you give your answers, I will reiterate them, but, you know, make it loud enough for the microphone. Average wind speed. Yeah. Are well, you going to do yeah, math I've been, on I've this? I've been looking at the wind speed every day this week, so, and it's, wow, that's a big range. All right. Yeah. All right. Bing, 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 yeah. Oh, look, look at all the math he's doing on the back of his plate. He's using a whole paper plate up. Three hundred six times. Did you, did you add a decimal? I did. It's average. Yeah. Average. Just average. You can go to the decimal. You know, mm -hmm. if if you are that close. All right. Oh, go to, all right. Casey, you make it sound like the wind always blows, and it doesn't. You make wind here. <laughs> this is where you make the no. wind that goes across <laughs> the country. Did you see all the fans up and around right here? Casey, I didn't say you break wind here. I said you make wind here. 12.3. 12.3. Wow. Tate. 18.3. Wyatt. 15.3. <laughs> Jim. 19. Ruth. I did an average of all four seasons because it's going to change a little, and I ran the numbers. I came out with 10. Okay. Bill. 20.4. 20. 20.3. <laughs> 20. What did, what did was, you have? I had, he had, I had 18. Right. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm putting yeah. the T down here, too. Where yeah. did you get these from? Don't worry. Don't worry. This, we're, all, we're almost halfway through. Mm -hmm. We'll do a leaderboard here. I should have went with my second answer I had recorded. It was closer. All right. So, our fifth, halfway through the game. How many... All right. This is what we... This was... We always have a... a an answer that... One of the South Dakota people should give it. Corey couldn't make it. He might have known this. How many cows per person are there in South Dakota? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, it's like one to 20, one to two, one to whatever. You know, cows <laughs> per person. Cows per person. Closest answer? Closest answer wins. Huh. Hmm. Well, there's there's a awkward silence. I'll just have a I'll just have a sip of lightning kugel. <laughs> that means you got to know how many people live in the state. Or you could just take a guess as you're driving around. Did take into consideration that a lot of herds were cold in the last three years with the drought? 
Casey, this no one's average. winning any prize money for this. This is average, right? Uh, yeah. This is probably over a long term average. Qualifying question. Qualifying question. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Mr. Is Wolf, can you talk loud? Is a steer considered a cow? Yeah, we're just talking the, the mam oh, mammalian. That makes a do we need to yeah. do a decimal? Yeah. Um, no, it's rigged. I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> do you need a math lesson? No, I was just. Like, I know there's a lot more cows than... Mm -hmm. I know there's 800-some thousand in South Dakota. People. Right. People. Yeah. And I know there's way more cattle than that, so I'm just trying to figure out a ratio. Yeah. Was this when Corey Gillen had cattle? Well, I just thought he might... That would have changed it. Do I need that a bat lesson? <laughs> All right, we see the smoke rolling out of here. How many cows How many per horses person? per person in South Dakota? <laughs> yeah. How, how many your family per person? One <laughs> not five. Well, the, the original five. question was, how many people are related to Corey and that, Casey? That, honestly... Yeah. That would have been oh. the amount of cows that are equal to the state. <laughs> Everybody's so, related. So you're here. saying my number four is going to be short. Uh, all right, Casey's got a four. All right. I'm five to one. Five? Ten to one. I said ten to one. Six. Bill? Three point five. Four. Oh! Four. Four. Oh. Even oh. just being... Yeah. Oh, look. We've got some of my pen thumb. Here, you can borrow my pen. All right. Is, is this like the seventh inning stretch? We got some shots sitting here that there. Oh, don't yeah. yeah. Let's, let's, not, let's not let them get warm. Let's just beach. hit pause. Oh, okay. What was that? <laughs> South Dakota State shot. <laughs> Okay, Damn, that was a good question. So you mean question. South Dakota actually sells these little glasses that are made for this? Yeah. Is this what you guys did in high school here? <laughs> 3D Absolutely. printers, buddy. All right, how, what is, what's in here? What's, um, what's in it's, here? It's called a Chuck Norris. And it's, Chuck, well, I got it like that. Right? <laughs> Going back for seconds. Now, don't be taking any of that no. in the morning, thinking that you're going to be all strong and ready to go. That's not aiming fluid? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take a couple and try it. Okay. Dr. Cherry McGillicuddy's is the shot. It is the shot. The inside of the bomber cup. And, then, and the blue liquid ice oh. emer energy drink is the outside. Oh, so this is like those Red Bull things that people yeah. used to do. The, so it's a depressant and a stimulant. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So did you, did you catch what these cups were called? No. Bomber shots? or It's a bomber shot. It's a bomber, it's a bomber cup. cup. I've, bomber ne cup. I've, I've never seen this. Ever, ever, ever. You need to get out more. I, well, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Back with this exciting game of South Dakota trivia. Did you turn it back All right. on? Yeah, he did. Oh, man. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Good call, though. Yeah. Yeah, I turned yeah, it back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. Uh, this a little geography. I know you guys all went to school here. I did not. Sorry that you went to White Lake White. You probably didn't cover this. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> what? Pretty Deep. funny, little man. <laughs> Thanks for having me don't, back. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I know jujitsu. Oh, oh. oh, come on now, guys. <laughs> okay. The second longest river in the state of South Dakota. And I actually went with the first one was my, I thought, and it, everyone was like, Missouri. I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot about the Missouri River. <laughs> so the second longest river. In South Dakota. Geography here. Oh boy, Tate's rolling his eyes because he's like, he skipped that class. Two. Tate was out. Yeah. Tate was I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a wild did. guess at this one because my money's on Tate on this one. I can know. give you a hint though. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take the hint. One word or two words? Um, it's it's one word river. Mm, river. But oh, you hear minute, you hear mention of this a lot on oh, podcasts yeah. huh? about oh, an area to go saying. hunt. That's too weird. In South Dakota. It's That's called the uh, something river area. A lot of people hunt this area. Are they lot here of... in this room? No. Not a lot. No. We're not anywhere near this no, place. No, Corey's not here. <laughs> um, but this this river area has a lot of crap, a lot of uh, Army Corps on it's, it. It's okay. And let me know when you have an answer. What is, is that, that? Is that your army? Oh yeah, well, that's probably the yeah. the thing I didn't charge up. Don't, don't throw the mouth a little. The second yeah. thing I didn't charge. The, the second that's thing what I went with. That's, All right. that's what I was going to go Yeah, and if you guys yeah. need to confirm, I'm going to South Dakota. Thing. All right, I'm, Casey. That, that's, a good, that's a good one. Casey, second one this river. James. Mm -hmm. All right. That's and a good one. Tate. I went the Vermilion River. And what? I went with James Jim River. Mm -hmm. And Jim. Wow. That's in Nebraska. Okay. Okay. Roof. Old Man River. <laughs> okay. 
He, he didn't get he didn't get the part where it was yeah. one word river. <laughs> oh man. That's what we call my dad. Jim flows through the whole state. Man. It goes all the way by Aberdeen it's, and it's comes Johnny's all the way down. River. Johnny's River. That's is wasn't he a country western I, singer? Yeah. yeah. The correct answer is Jim. James River. Yeah. Right. yeah. Why? I asked Kate? if he was in this room. Jim's right here. Oh. 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 Dude, we oh. thought he might pick up on that. That's oh. all right. He probably didn't know we call it the Jim River if yeah. you're local. Right. Oh. All right. Now here's another one that's gonna stump you from school, kiddos. This hurts. South Dakota and North Dakota were admitted to the Union simultaneously in an act of Congress. And it was November 2nd, 1889. I didn't expect you to know that date. Yeah. But as the 39th and 40th state admitted to the Union, which one was South Dakota? The 39th or the 40th? (laughs) You got a 50% chance of getting this right. All right, let's all get together. <laughs> Go ahead, phone a friend, Dave. I don't care. <laughs> all right. So, South Dakota and North Dakota were admitted simultaneously. <laughs> they can't be one. They <laughs> are the 39th and 40th state. South Dakota was which one? Casey. Oh. Um, I'm going 40th because I bet they were done in alphabetical order. Such a smarty pants. <laughs> I just went at 39.5, because it's the same time. It's got to be split down the middle. See? Wyatt. I went 39th. All right, Jim. See, we got our bases covered over here. Jim. Jim's on the board. Yeah, finally. We lost here while we made this game yesterday. So so the answer Uh, is 40. Well, well, you're still, I got to keep score. But let me see your thing. I use logic the way Casey did, but I did physically looking at north to south. Oh, so you came up with 40? Let me, can I see your answer right now? North and Dakota, North Dakota. <laughs> well, that's not wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, that's 40. 40. Okay. So we got Bill and Jim and Casey on that one. All right. The ringneck pheasant has been the state bird of South Dakota. All, bird, all states have a state bird, state animal. We covered a coyote earlier. But the ringneck pheasant is the state bird of South Dakota. What year did they say that's our state bird? I'm gonna go back to the other question. <laughs> no. this, uh, this isn't the year that the coyote what, found out this. So day. What year? What year did they did they establish the, the ringneck pheasant? Oh, state bird. I got this. Was it established as the state bird? So is is this in conjunction with the other question? Is that a hint, or no, is I that gets us? I was trying it's to. It's not get... conjunction with the coyote question. No, it is not. What well, the question after that though? Uh, that was the first licensed hunt. Well, that's the first licensed. No, yeah, Eight, completely uh, different. Here's a clue. Completely. Okay. That's different. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, not even close. Later, right? You'd have to right. make it. Feel In fact, you could almost have a generation. How's that, Brian? Oh, there's a hint. There's a hint. The ringneck pheasant has been the state bird of South Dakota since when, Casey? You got to scribble. <laughs> Holy smokes! Nineteen forty-three. Um, all right. Hold on, Hold on. I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm mathing here. But if it was a nineteen sixty-eight, and Wyatt. Nineteen sixty-three, and Jim. I said twenty-nine. And Ruth. I don't know the exact date. He's got an was, answer for everything. It was Christy Nome's first term in office because I think that's what she ran on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Bill. <laughs> I think it was after they brought the boys home. 1945. Casey, 43. Really? Oh. Bingo. Nice. Good job. 68. I actually had 48 and then I went to 63. All right. Forever. All right. Started. Now this okay, is yeah. going to be yeah. Uh, for for us dog people in this room, this could be contested, but I want you to understand the source of this one. According to the American Kennel Club and Orvis, we'll, we'll just leave comments aside. <clears throat> According to AKC and Orvis, what is the best breed to hunt South Dakota with the best breed of bird dog. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I, 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 I know his answer. I know his yeah, answer. Yeah. I know his answer. Yeah. I will tell you this thing. 
do not Everybody's go with your dogs. favorite breed. <laughs> yeah. I, I was that one. Yeah. Okay. You guys just give I, your breeds. So this is the there. most favorite, not the most popular. Right. But this is according to AKC and Orvis. It was probably some article. You know. It, it pains me to write this. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, Casey, what is the most popular? What is no? In fact, their words are: What is the best breed? To hunt South Dakota with. Well, Bill McFadden says it's the English pointer. All right, so you're going with pointer. All right, Casey. Or Th- this Casey. isn't my personal let's, choice, let's but according this. to the answer, I'm going to go Labrador Retriever. Okay. Labrador Retriever. Oh, boy. Jim. German he just here. says Zeba. Zeba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a, its own breed. Are your dogs dog. alive over there? German Short yeah. Hair? Yeah. Rusty. I went with half Brocco Italiano and half <laughs> Wired Air Vizma. <laughs> because the way everyone's been talking about him must be pretty damn good dog. Yeah. <laughs> Bill. Bravola. Bravola. Oh, you did we have our first 0% question answered here. Nice. All right, round two. German Wire Haired Pointer. Okay. That was my second guess, but I didn't think that was going to be it. Yeah. I would have guessed short hair. I would have guessed that they were. It was either, it, mine was either lab or wire hair, but it's just like the labs are I, way more popular. I think yeah. there's more labs hunting in South Dakota. By far. But, but according the to their little thing. Okay. I, I'm glad I, I would agree with that answer. So that's a zero there. Here's our standing right now. We have uh, Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt's got three. Bill, 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 <laughs> Bill's got four. Bill's got five. Tate, one, two, three. Casey, one, two, three, four. Ooh, right ooh. now. I almost died. Right now, Can and I will be very shoes? honest, Bill's answers doesn't count because he helped me write this trivia. <laughs> Why does he only have five? <laughs> because <laughs> I, I looked over and I was like, get some raw. <laughs> get some raw. <laughs> We'll be on the news, so, so I'm going to cover up number 10, but I had all my answers already written down. Right. right. And right. After, I seen him scribbling after he didn't. <laughs> so, so this is coming down to... Uh, yeah, this is no. But what about Ruth and Jim? They're, 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 they're not even in the running. Yeah, I, got, I think I got I think one. You got it, guys. Right now. <laughs> I got the most sensible thing. Now, this, now this one, this is not a, uh, a percentage. I need, I need an exact answer on this one. Oh, boy. And I expect, I expect this would be the opposite of the last question, as opposed to a zero percenter. I'm guessing that this one is a hundred percent. This is our last question. This is our last question. Okay. Don't question add the pressure, pressure to us. Now we're going to fall. I know. I know. According to Forbes magazine, oh which I know you all read. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What woman-owned business was voted number one in South Dakota in 2022? Again, what woman-owned business was voted number one in South Dakota in 2022? All right, I'm going to take this one counterclockwise. <coughs> sure. Bill, Bill McPhail? White Lake Hunting Lodge. Rusty? White Lake Hunting Lodge. Jim? White Lake Hunting Lodge. Wyatt? White Lake Hunting Lodge. Uh, it's... Ditto. Ditto. My late country. Casey, watch. watch her come up with like John Deere. <laughs> John Deere Redfield. White Lake Honey Lodge. All right. All right. All right. All right. What a great game. Ooh. So that means we all tied then, right? Yeah. Right. You all tied. Yeah. And you all kept your job by answering that. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening. We'll see you soon. We'll talk to you soon. And we'll, uh, whatever we'll do. <laughs>